So we got in a C controller. Customer says it's not working. Let's see what we got. All right, let's get this open and see what we got. It's clean so far. Now watch going in under these edges that you're not getting up against components. Now these, all these pins are probably coming through this case. Let's see, can we see that? Yeah, so pull it out as straight as you can. And let's go to the scope and see what we got here. Oh, we got one molten relay there. Why is all that so melted looking? Got another melted relay. We got going on here. So what is with this connector so molten? I mean, do we got some heat going on with these joints? Oh, those are the relay contacts. Okay, here's here's this melted connector. These do not look very bad. So here's a here's a really weak solder joint, barely covered. So these look they look okay, as long as they're not just hollow. This looks like solder wave. That's more of our relays. That's the other banker relays. So why is this connector so melted? on the table. Yeah, that looks like a pretty big trace coming up that way, so I'm going to suspect either our, our relays are failing or our solder joints are weak. And I say that because if you look under here, try and get in on this again. You can see that this surface is our, is our copper going to various connections. And if I look at this one on the back, so is that this one? That's a pretty good trace too here in there. But here's what I'm looking at. If you notice, the copper pad has no solder on it and the leg has no solder on it. And I'm gonna suspect you're gonna see this whole pair of rows like that. And I don't know what's going on with these. Maybe these don't pull the load. Well, of course, because we've got these uh, relays here. So this has gotta be seat heaters. I'm almost gonna guarantee it. And Because this side of the board, because this side of the board is going to our heavy hitters, you're going to want your best connection right here. And I'll tell you why. Because see down this via, that thin plating that goes through the hole and comes to the other side, that's what's carrying the whole load. Power comes through the pin, through the board, it's not touching the copper, comes to this solder pad, 
and makes connection through the via to this side. So these things are getting hot enough to melt, to, you know, to soften this plastic. You know, you're, you're getting a couple hundred degrees concentrated right here. And the pins do not look bad. So that's what's going on is all your current is going through the plated hole via. So what needs to happen is you need to wet these joints to the point where it's sucking solder up into this hole and making connection with that pin on this pad. Could you actually see that? How about the ones that aren't melted? Yeah, actually, can you see that? You can actually see them where they're not. Let me see if I can really get you down in there. It's a really tight shot. So you can actually see it's not got any solder up on the top pad that's running across the face of that board to give you all your uh, current drawing capacity. So can we fix this? Yeah, let's replace all the uh, relays. And see, even on these relays, you can actually see under them. And we're just not, just don't have any solder making the connection to the top trace of that board. And that's going to be why this piece of pad failed. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so we'll get some relays on order. We'll let the customer know what the price is and uh, check back when we work on it.